Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about liquid detection on the iPhone. This is a feature that's been around for quite some time. However, with the new iPhone 15 USB-C port and iOS 17, Apple also added a new liquid detection sound that I wanted to share with you guys. In case you ever get any type of liquid on your iPhone's charging port, you'll be able to identify the sound coming from your iPhone in case you're not looking at the screen of your device. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is of course have this bucket right here full of water and I'm going to drop the iPhone inside of the container filled with water of course to get some water on the port in order to activate the liquid detection of course don't try this at home this is just an experiment so that you guys can identify the new liquid detection sound on iPhone in case you ever drop your iPhone maybe into a pool or I seen people drop it in toilets or a sink you'll be able to identify if your port is still wet and you can't charge using the USB-C or lightning connection on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and drop the iPhone in the container of water here for just a few seconds. So this is a little bit over halfway through. So this should be plenty of water for that liquid detection to kick in. So we're going to remove the iPhone from the water and we're going to go ahead and plug it in to the USB-C charging port. Again, do not try this at home. Let's go ahead and hear that new sound coming from the liquid detection within iOS 17. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So as you can see right there, it's asking me to disconnect my iPhone. It is not letting me charge my iPhone. And it's giving me the warning, of course, to disconnect the connector in order to prevent any damage from happening to the iPhone or, of course, allowing it to dry over time. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and dry the port, there's a few things you can do. Apple recommends you grab a dry towel and you just tap your iPhone just like so and continue to do this many, many times until the port is dry. Now, if you also have compressed air, you can just use some compressed air and continue doing this until the port is dry. Now, Apple does mention that USB-C can't be used, but you can actually use the actual MagSafe feature. So you can still go ahead and use MagSafe to charge if you need to charge your iPhone, even with the water detection featured enabled. As you can see right there, MagSafe still works and Apple says it's okay to use MagSafe to charge your iPhone if there's water in the port and you can't get it to dry quick enough to charge your iPhone. Let's hear that sound one more time. So it's going to plug it in. And there's the warning. It's telling me USB-C connector. I have an emergency button here, which allows me to override right there, as you can see right there. And it's not letting me charge, but it lets me contact emergency services. Now, in order to remove the water from the speakers, because keep in mind, not only did water get on the port, but it also got into the speakers. So let's go ahead and unlock this iPhone. And I want to share with you guys in the description down below, I'll have a shortcut that's called water eject and this is an old one but a good one here you can click start and this will eject water from the speakers of your iphone by emitting a sound as you can see right there and it, you can repeat this process as many times as you need to in order to get your speakers back in working order because of course if any liquid gets in there they may sound a little muffed up and this will help improve the uh, speaker quality sound and of course remove the water from the speaker after any type of liquid has gotten into the speaker now this is the same feature built into apple watch believe it or not so apple has this new feature in apple watch where you can actually eject water from the apple watch using the digital crown and this is an official apple feature this is a way to get it on the iphone using a shortcut so so there you guys have it. That is the new sound on the new liquid detection for USB-C devices and lightning with iOS 17. In case you ever plug in your iPhone and you're not looking at the screen, but there's water in the port, you'll be able to identify that new sound. And that means, of course, you need to unplug your iPhone to prevent any damage, to stay safe, of course, and to prevent any corrosion on your device as well. And there you guys have it. How to remove water from the speakers, how to detect that new sound. And this is the new liquid detection on the iPhone. I just wanted to share this one with you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.